Hi. It's Wednesday of Holy Week, the day that has sometimes been called the day of rest or the day of silence. But that's really only for Jesus and his disciples. There's nothing included in the Bible about what they were doing on this day. But in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, each of those Gospels has a few verses about what Jesus' enemies were doing on this day. They were gathering together to plot against Jesus, how they could see him arrested and executed. This was the day that Judas Iscariot came to the enemies of Jesus and offered to betray him. This was the day that he was paid those 30 pieces of silver and started looking for opportunities to hand Jesus over. But as these enemies of Jesus were considering how they were going to take him and crucify him, they said something that I think is really interesting at the beginning of Matthew chapter 26. Here's Matthew 26 verse 5. They schemed to arrest Jesus secretly and kill him, but but here was their caveat. But not during the festival, they said, or there may be a riot among the people. They might have thought that they were going to pull one over on Jesus, that they were going to secretly come in behind his back and take him without him knowing. But Jesus knew exactly what he was doing. He was working on his own timetable, the timetable that the Father had set for him from the beginning. So much was Jesus in control and not his enemies, the Jewish religious leaders, that this one thing they said, not during the festival, Jesus knew that was exactly when they had to take him because that was the time that would actually fulfill prophecy. He was the Lamb of God, the true fulfillment of the Passover Lamb from the days of the Exodus, who would be slaughtered and whose blood would save his people from death and lead them to life. So also with Jesus, he was in control. His plan was in force, and nothing the Jewish religious leaders wanted to do was going to knock him off of that. Our true Passover lamb was going to sacrifice so that we could be freed from our sins, freed from our slavery, so that we could be saved from death, and so that we could be off to our own promised land of eternal life in heaven. That's what Jesus was readying himself for on Silent Wednesday, the day of rest. And that's the day, that's the thing that we can think about and remember today too. The Passover lamb is ready to be sacrificed so that we can have life with him forever. God bless you, now and always.